I have a surprise for you. What okay. is it? You ready? Wait, close your eyes. Close <laughs> you. Well, it? my eyes are open, but I'm just covering my eyes. Okay, look. At the pizza. Eight. It's a ring. That's an eight. <laughs> That's not an eight. It's a ring. Can they see it? That is an eight. <laughs> That's a ring because we're engaged. All right. I'm gonna Did you go... already take a bite out of it? <laughs> I got hungry. All right. I'm going to go cut this up really quick and I will be right back. I ended up burning the cookies. So I have an alternative. We're but... doing a mukbang. No, mukboo. Mukbang. Muck, no, muck it's not. Bong. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new, my name's Steven. This is Madeline. We have the channel Madeline and Steven. Today we're doing a mukbang. Mukbang. Mukbang is what Madeline says. Her, whatever. You guys know what we're talking yeah. about. We're answering your questions on our YouTube. On our community, Madeline said something. I don't know, because I didn't type it. But it'll be on screen right now. And this is what Madeline asked. As you guys heard, we are going to be answering some of y'all's questions about our recent engagement. If you guys didn't know, we recently got engaged. You can check out the proposal video down below. Or right here. We're just gonna be answering some questions for you guys. And I think you asked like some really good ones, honestly. Are we invited to the wedding? Um, you're not gonna get an invitation, but you will see it on YouTube, hopefully, so kind of invited. That's like y'all's little invitation. You get to see the inside of um, our wedding. I know this is random, but how did Steven know Madeline's ring size? So a long time ago, I got Madeline a promise ring and it was way too big. I forgot what size I got it. And so we went to the mall and we're like, hey, let's go see what your ring size would be just in case I resized your promise ring or whatever. So we went there. We went to K and we actually got it and I wrote down in my notes, ring size four. So basically I tried on rings because I thought he was gonna resize my ring and I was like, why didn't we bring our rings with us? Cause his is actually too big too. We just never got them resized. How did Steven ask your parents and what did they say slash how did they react? That's actually the first thing I asked him like right after I was like, what did my dad say? He said no. <laughs> is that it anyway? Yeah, I actually asked her parents last semester. I called Pam, her mom. And I said, hey, what are you guys doing right now? She said, well, Dan's at the office and I'm not really doing anything. What's up? It's like, okay, well, I said, I'm going to meet up with you guys here in a little bit. Uh, if Dan's free, I mean, we can figure something out. So then I called Dan, her dad, and I said, hey, what are you up to? He's like, not much. Um, I have a meeting in 30, 45 minutes or something like that. I can't remember. Um, I said, perfect. Can I meet you at your office? He said, yeah, sure, whatever. So I called Pam back and I said, hey, can you meet me and Dan at... Dan's office. So we went over there and we like went into Dan's office and I basically asked, I was like, can I marry Madeline? I forgot what else I said, but Pam cried and Dan said, yeah, and thought that I was going to say that Madeline was pregnant. So. <laughs> so he was relieved. Yeah. Speaking of pregnant, I am not pregnant at all. That is not why we're getting yeah. married. Anyway, how did you feel? I'm sure people ask like when mm. you went, were you scared? I was nervous, but it really wasn't at the same time. Cause you knew they would say yes. Mm -hmm. My parents love him. You should tell them why I didn't even suspect you going to my parents' office mm. or my dad's office. Like, what did you tell me? I said I was going to go either have lunch with my mom or dad. I couldn't remember. So I had to drive that way. I didn't really have lunch with my mom or dad. I actually just went to talk to my parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's kind of long. So I'm also a little bit of an introverted. So I'm nervous about my reaction to getting proposed to in the future. I know Steven talked about how the fact that Madeline wouldn't have the wildest reaction, but would you have changed the way you reacted or are you satisfied with it? Honestly, I'm satisfied with it. It's such a like me reaction. Like I just didn't believe you at all. <laughs> and so I liked it. And you know, I love you obviously. And you don't have to cry to show love. So I feel like it was okay. Some people were disappointed in it, but like, I just thought it was a prank. I'm gonna need another half of this pizza. I, I bought Steven an Apple watch for our engagement gift. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Do you want a more classic wedding in a church or somewhere fancy such as a beach? What we plan on having right now, plans might change, is having a wedding either at my house or Madeline's parents' house whenever they build it. But the original plan Madeline had was to have the wedding at my house and have the reception at her house, but then she said she didn't like how people would have to drive to the reception, which is like 15 minutes away. But yeah, Steven lives on like a dairy slash farm, so it's like a really nice area. They have a good area in their backyard that we could definitely have the ceremony. We want to have an outdoor wedding for sure, I feel like. So actually neither, mm -hmm. um, but outdoor in his backyard or my backyard. Where will your honeymoon be? We're not actually sure yet um, because we're going to do... Maybe. Do you want to do it? That video? 
I think it'd be funny. We're gonna be doing a Instagram controls or maybe even YouTube controls our honeymoon. Mm-hmm. So, so we don't we, know. Yeah, if we did that, we would have to pick the two places in advance. You guys choose them. And then when the time comes... No, you can go ahead. So, no, go ahead and talk. When the time, so when the time comes, we'll have like, should we go on this excursion or should we do this? If I were to go to Mexico, I wouldn't want to do like a Mayan ruin hike for my honeymoon. <laughs> Why not? That might be someone's forte. It's not ours. <laughs> this question is for Madeline. What style are you looking for in your wedding dress and what is the theme for your wedding? So the dress that I want is a halter top, kind of like this actually. I don't like showing my chesticles and I feel like I'd be very uncomfortable, especially at a wedding if I did that. That might be your thing, but I just don't normally do that. So I want a halter top to like cover this area. And then I want like the dress to be cinched at the waist, so tight around my waist and then a flowy bottom. Sorry. I don't know yet. I haven't tried on dresses. Haven't even thought about trying on dresses yet, but that's kind of like what I want. And then for the theme of our wedding, we want to do a farmhouse type theme because it's going to be outdoor. We want to do like a wood with a light blue and white. I don't even know why we're planning this wedding because we don't plan on getting married for like another year or two. So, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to do. But it could be two years from now. Why am I? You say funny? we are planning this right now. You are the one. Since the day <laughs> I proposed, she's been all over it. I have a Pinterest board already. <laughs> and I already know who my bridesmaids and maid of honor is gonna be. You said in the honking prick that perfect by Ed Sheeran would be the perfect wedding song. Will that song still be in your wedding somehow? Probably not. I think it should be in there somehow, but we don't want that as our wedding song anymore. No. Steven doesn't like it. <laughs> the reason why I don't like it is because Madeline overplayed that song so much. So actually last night I spent like an hour looking up wedding songs. Being obnoxious, dude. So obnoxious. <laughs> and I found one that I really like. Played it three times. Because I wanted to listen to it several times. There's one line in it that I don't like that I might try and fix. Chick-fil-A dinner at the wedding. I mean, that is where you found him, lol. We're actually going to try to get sponsored by Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and also... <laughs> it's not going to happen, yeah. but... And also, we are going to have like a catering booth. Madeline already has this all planned out <laughs> of like what she's going to have. I want to put a sign up next to like the catering booth of the Chick-fil-A that says, where it all began, dot, dot, dot. And then we're going to have like the chicken nuggets. We're going to have grilled nuggets for those who are gluten-free because uh, my brother's wife is gluten-free. We're also going to have salads for those who are vegetarian because I know some vegetarians. And then, are we gonna have fries? Probably. No. All right, then we're gonna do like the chips that are like the waffle fry chips that they have. That was it. I think somebody had like a cute idea about Polynesian sauce about like, sorry, we forgot the Polynesian sauce. And then it's like at the bottom, ask if you want some because he forgot the Polynesian sauce. That is our plan so far. <laughs> what season do you want the wedding to be in? Um, summer. Summer? Summer. I feel like spring or summer. We didn't see any questions regarding how much the ring actually was because I think people know that it's a personal question, but in the video, in the proposal video, there were some people who decided to make us mad. We're not gonna try to offend anybody here. This is like what was going through our minds. In the proposal video, I showed what the engagement band was and then what diamond I got or whatever. And people decided to look it up and they were like, for anybody who is wondering, the ring was only $560. LOL. That's what pissed me off, as I said, <laughs> LOL. First of all, no. Um, I'm also going to tell you guys how much the ring was. Well, we need to first explain, like, when they said only $520 yeah. or whatever they said, that is a lot of money to some people. That's a lot of money to me, honestly. Like, that's a freaking lot of money. So that pissed me <laughs> off that they said only $500. Yeah. And added that stupid LOL. Like, we deleted the comment. Yeah. What they looked up, they actually looked up the engagement band. So this, like, not including the diamond this right here. That's right. That was $560, not the diamond. My total came out to be like $2,200, but they actually offered a $100 discount. So I snatched that up. So I spent $2,100 on Madeline's engagement ring. And at the time, that's all that I could afford because we were obviously like not that big of a channel, but we were also kind of big. And so we weren't making that much money. I feel I feel bad for like saying this. So when I was buying the ring, I mean, yes, $2,100 for a ring is a lot of money. I mean, I, I think it's a lot of money. I don't like to spend $2,100. <laughs> I like to save my money. That was in my price range because I still had to pay rent. I still had to pay electric, Wi-Fi, 
I had to buy groceries, gas. I mean, that stuff adds up. That's what I could afford. So I don't know. I don't like it whenever people say, for those who wondering, who are wondering, the ring was only $560. First of all, if you're gonna try to make yourself look like you're an investigator, actually do the work and find out how much everything costs. Also, if you plan to propose to somebody and you can't spend that kind of money, it doesn't matter. The person will love you for who you are. I was just about to say, like, it's not about how much money they spend on the ring. It's about the love that's there. She told me to go to Walmart and get her a ring. <laughs> I really did. My throat keeps, like, coughing. Yeah. But I really did tell him, I was like, you can get a ring from Walmart and I literally will not care. That's not the point. The diamond is not the point. People will not know that this costs X amount of money, you know, unless they're like a freaking diamond expert. I think it's beautiful. People were asking what my thoughts are on it, and I wanted something simple. I told him that from the beginning. I was like, I don't want anything big. My hands are really small. My fingers are skinny. Obviously, I'm a size four. So I feel like anything bigger than this would have looked weird on my fingers. And like Steven said in the video, if later down the road for like our 10 year anniversary or something, he can always upgrade. And yeah, I did save up that money. It's not like, I mean, obviously I had to save it up. And I only bought that ring because of you guys. So thank you so much for <laughs> sticking around and watching us. Someone actually asked that, like, how did Steven have enough money to buy a ring? So it's yeah. all because of you guys. Like, this is our job, and we are so thankful for that, especially because we get to do it together, which is really cool. And I love it. I think it's, like, one of the coolest jobs ever, and it's just the most unique. And I didn't have to apply for it. How long are you waiting to actually get married? We kind of already answered that. One, two years. One to two years. It could yeah. be even more. I don't know. But yeah, another question was, or it wasn't even a question. People ranting, like, aren't they, like... 18 <laughs> yeah we could be engaged for uh, five years it's just like we're dating yeah like right now it, it doesn't in my eyes it doesn't seem any different from when i proposed to whenever we were boyfriend and girlfriend yeah and i feel like it's more of like a promise like now we're like really promising each other showing you i'm not messing around <laughs> yeah i don't know we know we're gonna be together so why not just go ahead yeah. and do it like we've been talking about it which you've been lying to me and telling me that i'm gonna wait like two years i'm gonna wait like three years i said whenever i graduated like several times um what did steven's parents think when he first brought up the idea of proposing to Madeline. My dad brought up the idea of me proposing to Madeline. <laughs> he's just talking to me and he was like, where do you see yourself with Madeline? I was like, I want to marry her. And he's like, I think you should do it. And like we went into this whole thing and like where we were just talking about it. And three months later, I actually bought the ring. This one's for Madeline. And I think many of us are wondering, how did you know that Steven was going to propose to you? In the video, you asked him if he was when he set the camera up. Was it just an in the moment thing? I just said it as a joke. Like, cause it just felt, I don't know. I could tell he was acting like kind of weird, but not really until we got back. Like after it happened, I was like, oh my gosh, you were like really like freaking out. But it was just like the fact that he set up the camera and I was like, what are you time lapsing? And I was like, haha, are you gonna propose to me? Cause he took my phone. And I was like, why are you taking my phone? Like, why does it matter? Like he just set it on the ground. And so I was like, haha, are you gonna propose to me? And you were like, yeah. Which I thought it was funny. Some people said I ruined the moment, but I think it's funny. <laughs> Because I was joking. I didn't really know. I was just, I just said it. So a lot of people were kind of asking, did you know you wanted to propose on the cruise or did you have like other ideas that you could have possibly done for the proposal or did you know that's like where you wanted to do it? After my parents brought up the idea of me proposing to Madeline, we had several plans. The first one was to, I think, I think it was to go through the Chick-fil-A drive through and I really didn't want to do this because I think the way that I imagine it is so awkward <laughs> is for Madeline to go through the drive through at Chick-fil-A, me go inside to use the restroom or something, and then as Madeline gets our food, I go through the drive through window and hand her the ring. I would, that, I don't know. I <laughs> didn't like that one. Another one. I think that would be funny though. Oh, that would have been so weird. And like, how would I have filmed that too? Another one was to... Actually, it was going to be on the cruise. I was going to show Madeline around the ship, bring her into her parents' room or my parents' room or wherever, and her parents be there, but we go onto the balcony and I do it there. Back there were room. like 30 different <laughs> ways. I don't know. So the last question we are going to answer is, are you ever going to have kids? Uh, yeah, we will. We want to wait for a while. Madeline says... Three years. <laughs> and I say five or six. No. Yes. Three years. I am 19 years old. Yeah, but you'll be 20 when we get married, so add another two years to that. You'll be 22, and I'll be freaking 24. 20 to 25 we'll have, will be my prime. We'll have, I do not want to have kids there. <laughs> Why? What if it's God's plan? 
And it just happens. It won't happen. All right, guys. I think we're done. There's probably way more questions we could have answered, but yeah, it's already like been 40 minutes of footage. Yeah, we're tired and I have to, we also have to film an outro. Oh, good thing you said that. Yep. I would have forgotten. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe down below. If you guys want to get notified every single time we post a video, hit that bell after you guys subscribe so you guys get notified. Like I said, every time we post a video, follow our Instagrams. It'll be right here. Got this cool animation back now that I'm editing back on my computer. I don't think we have anything else to say. Maybe just the proposal video will be down in the description. Oh, someone else asked how we met. We'll link that down below. Yeah, the how we met video will be down in the description below. We love you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.